morning everyone. This is again Ma'am Sheila. This is the last topic for quarter 2. So huli na ito. We will be discussing today competency 26. Of course, you need to apply all the knowledge that you have acquired in this quarter or in this module. So let us solve problems that involves radical expressions. So number 1, illustrative example number 1, our problem is the area of a square lot is 162 square meter. How long is the side of the square lot? As you all know, the area of the square is equal to S squared. So we have A is equal to S squared. We are going to substitute the given values in our problem. The area is given, which is 162. That's why we have here 162 equals S squared. As you can see here, we have a quadratic equation, but then we will be using radical to simplify this one. And to solve for the side, since it is the unknown, kukunin natin ang side, we have to, yes, we need to get the square root of the both side. If you are going to do that, what will happen? Yes, yung S squared natin, pag kinuha natin ng square root, using law of radicals number 1, ang matitira na lang ay S, which is 162. Since it is 162, wala siyang perfect square, but then it can be simplified. The correct factors are, we have 81 and 2. And then using law of radicals number 3, we can simplify it. The square root of 81 is 9, so we have 9 square root of 2 meters. Ibig sabihin, the side of the square lot, whose area is 162 square meter, the side is 9 square root of 2 meters. Now, let us have problem number 2 for our next example. We have here, find the area of a rectangle with length square root of 5 meters and with a width of 2 square root of 15 meters. So, ang hahanapin natin ang area given ang length and width. The length is square root of 5 meters and the width is 2 square root of 15 meters. You all know that the area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. To find the area, you just substitute the given length and width. That's why we have square root of 5, that's the length, and then the width is 2 square root of 15. We are going to multiply our radical. So, multiply lang natin yan. How do we multiply again? That is coefficient to coefficient and radical to radical. So, we have 2, our coefficient, and then you are going to multiply the two radicands, 5 and 15. It will give you 75. As you all know, 75 can still be simplified. We have here 25 times 3. So the square root of 25 is 5. So we have 2 times 5 times square root of 3, which will give us 10 square root of 3. This is actually area, ha? hindi yan side. So the area is 10 square root of 3 square meters. Again, the area is 10 square root of 3 meters. Okay, we have here a number relation problem. Twice the square root of a number is 12, you are going to find the number. This is how are you going to represent the equation based on the given problem. Sabe, twice the square root of a number, so we have 2 square root of x. And it is equal to 12, so we have 2 square root of x is equal to 12. So that is the radical equation based on our problem. And then of course, if you are going to solve it, we can actually... Get the square or we are going to square both sides since the index is 2. If we do that, you are going to distribute this exponent. So 2 squared will become 4. If you distribute it here, makakansi lang ating radical sign, index and exponent. So ang matitira na lang is x. And 12 squared, of course, is 144. To simplify the resulting equation, we are going to use multiplication property of equality. Then, we will be having x is equal to 36. We have 144 divided by 4 is 36. It means the number that we are looking for is 36. To check, okay, let us check first. To check, we have 2. If x is 36, yun yung nakuha natin sagot, equals 12. So, we have here 2. The square root of 36 is 6 equals 12. And 6 times 2 is 12. So we have 12 equals 12. Which tells us that x is equal to 36 is actually correct. 
For our last example, let us have problem number 4. The area of the square is 25 and the side is square root of x plus 3. Given ang side at given din ang area. Ang hinahanap lang natin is the value of x. So if the area is 25 and the side is square root of x plus 3, what is the value of x? We are going to write the equation based on the formula for the area of a square, which is a equals x squared. You are going to substitute the area, which is 25, and of course, the side is x plus 3. Our side is x plus 3, so we have x plus 3 here. Sa ating formula, that is s squared. That's why we have here square. And as you all know, using law of radicals number 1, pagpareho ang ating index at saka ang ating exponent, na eliminate na yan, so ang matitira na lang is x plus 3. Kaya, we will be having x plus 3 equals 25 which you are going to simplify using APE or addition property of equality. So the value of x is 22. If you want to check, the side is actually x plus 3. And sabi natin, the value of x is 22. So we will be having the square root of 22 plus 3. 22 plus 3 is 25. And the square root of uh, 25 is 5. It means that the side... That the side is 5 units. Ano? So if the side is 5 units, to get the area, since it is S squared, so you have 5 squared, that's why the area will be 25. Just like what we have here in our problem. I hope again everyone can follow. That is how are you going to solve problems involving radicals. We are done with quarter 2. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.